Okay, this is uh, this is me again. I, I forgot to show something here, and so I got another grain. And in this one, you can see where there's a a little bit more ooze in here. Um, I found that the uh, level of ooze here is uh, dependent on how good the uh, the the top cap fits around the uh, the mandrel, and also uh, when how soon you start to uh, screw down the uh, compression spring. If you're a little bit too soon, you get a little more oozing. Okay, and, and that one you can see fair a fair amount of oozing there. And that usually means that the, the cap here you know compresses down a little bit farther. But what I want to show you on, on this video is to prevent well first of all if you, if you look at this when I poured it in, you know, I'm really careful about pouring in the propellant because I, I hate when it just goes gushing down the side here looking like a waterfall or something like that. I've seen some people that they're just getting the propellant in as quick as possible and it just flows down like the outside of a, a weird candle. But as you can see here, there's nothing outside here, so I am very careful pouring it. But just to be on the safe side, Richard asked that we put uh, PVC, uh, PV, PVC tape around the uh, top shoulder here to keep any propellant off. And just to make, uh, make cleaning up the motor easier, I uh, also put this paper around it so if anything did flow down here past the PVC, uh, PVC tape. Is it PVC? PCB. Yeah, something. I, I'm not thinking straight right now. But uh, prevent it from oozing down here and having to clean it off the uh, outside of the casing. And as you can see here, the outside here looks primo.